Can somebody call me an ambulance? Because I'm in trouble. Time is moving really, really slowly. And everything is flat. I need you to call me an ambulance. Or failing that, my mummy. I really want my mummy because, and I'm not being dramatic, but I think I might be dead. I'm putting you in charge of collecting the money for tomorrow's fashion show. The last time they had a collection for charity, nearly half the money went missing, and then the organisers started turning up in new trainers. Well, sir, whilst I'm really pleased that you think I'm trustworthy enough to... Oh, it's not that. I just know that if anything did happen, I could break you. Right. Well, the thing is, I object to the fashion show on a moral level. I'm sorry? It's not about raising money. It's a popularity parade. It's just the self-elected attractive people using charity as an excuse to show off. Well, this is a first. As it happens, Mackenzie, I agree with you. You do? Yes. Great. So you understand why I'd rather not compromise my principles? Yes, I do. Totally. Unfortunately for you, it's not the First World War. You can't conscientiously object. So, you either collect the money or it's detention, starting now and continuing indefinitely. But you said you agreed with me. Yes, I know. It's a tricky one, isn't it? You know your testicles sticking out. What? Is that why everyone was laughing? Oh, God, do you think people saw? Yes. It was eye level for most of the audience. Oh, God, no! No! I suppose you thought that was funny, did you? Well, your little jokes got you in a lot of trouble. Honestly, it wasn't a joke. No. There is nothing funny about testicles, Cooper, as you'll discover tomorrow in my office. What? Sorry, sir, that, that sounds a bit weird. No, it didn't. Sorry, I, I think I need to get some air. Really faint. Oh dear. Can you even show that again? Nah, nah, it's all right. You never forget. It's like riding a bike, innit? <laughs> oh, you would if you could, though. What? Suck yourself off. That's not what I meant. Yeah, but I bet you've tried it. We all have. Oh, I managed to lick the tip once, but it took a lot of stretching. Twice a day for a couple of weeks. Well, thanks for sharing, Neil. What did you say? Nothing. Right. A week's after school detention for both of you. Oh, what? Two weeks. Ah, oh, come on, sir. We... Three weeks? But, sir, I... Four weeks detention? Starting tonight. See you later. Oh, fucking hell. What are you eating? The enemy. I hate it. It's always wrong. It's basically shit. Still doesn't stop me buying it every week. Right, every week? Yep. So you buy it every week? Yeah. Not every week, though. Yes, every week. So every week? Are you broken? I was supposed to be modelling with Paul Keenan, but he got so nervous he drank a bottle of vodka and passed out in the staff toilets. Please, will you take his place? Me? Um... He won't do it. He thinks it's exclusive vanity. Right. No, he's talking shit. It's the painkillers. Of course I'll do it. Oh, great. What? You hypocrite! Ow! OK, right, you. Time for sleep. <laughs> Touch me, don't Come on. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. He gets very grumpy when he's tired. Wait a minute. Is that my fold up table on the fire? And my picnic basket? I thought you said look for stuff to burn. What? Burn fucking wood, not my stuff! Do a dare. Nah, he won't. He's boring. So what? If I eat this bonsai tree, I automatically become fun and interesting, do I? Yes. Fine. Well, I'll eat it then, and we'll see. Go on then. I will. What are you doing? The fire's going down. Stop burning my things! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm going to bed, so can you try and keep it down, yeah? What are you doing? Question! Two fingers! I'm sorry, I, I was trying to satirise their bravado. If you think about it, it worked. You ate a bonsai tree. As I'm sure you're aware, there's been a spate of vandalism recently, culminating in someone adapting the flower displayed by the main road so that it now reads, We Come Tit Village. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you, Mackenzie? Well, a bit. Doesn't it make sense? We Come Tit Village? What kind of morons would do that? I think you know exactly who did it. What? I don't know, sir. Honestly, I don't. Oh, God. 
Come on, Mackenzie. You're the sort of busybody that knows everything that's going on. You can't resist getting that beak of yours into other people's business. Beak? Yes, your beaky nose. And if you don't tell me who did it, in my role as your UCAS referee, I will fuck your application up. What if I have to go to the birth? Can you imagine how grim that'll be? Watching that baby getting squeezed out of her ass. Right. I've got some news, Neil. So have you been down the Enterprise then? Um... Oh, I'm just trying to... Into, um, there are loads of brilliant up-and-coming bands. Ah, oh, I can't quite... I don't know. Oh, I just... Um, it's cool if you haven't. No, I don't think so. Yes, I fucked the Dutch girl. Bollocks, never been Holland. Yeah, I have. It was the West Ham under-13s football tour. Oh, right. And what did you do to you when you were 12 that was so filthy? Give you a blowjob in a windmill? Wank you off with clogs? Nah, look, it was properly filthy. I shouldn't tell. Try us. All right. Well, when I fingered her, she shit down my arm. Should we go and look where we're sleeping then? Yeah. Honk if you want a blowjob. <laughs> we should stick it on Kerry. She loves giving blowjobs. We'd have to get a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, good one. Actually, I know where this should go. Oh, look, someone's got a funny bumper sticker. What does this one say? Honk if you want to... Ah. Oh. What? I literally have no idea how they got there. It's just not very funny though, is it? I mean, why would you want to drive around with that on the back of your car? It just makes you look dirty. I'm not. I mean, it's not like I'm obsessed with blowjobs or, or cocks. Honestly, I'm not. Now, sir. Come out here, you coward! I think we should all take a breath, try and calm down. You're telling me to calm down? Calm down? I'll smash the shit out of your garden and see how you like it! OK, I've got a really bad hangover, so if you aren't willing to have a sensible conversation, I'm just going to shut the curtains. Are you taking the moral fucking high ground? Is that what you're doing? OK, as I say, I'm going to close these now. You think that's going to stop me? I'm closing them now. You think I give a fuck? About to close. You're a bunch Closing. of fucking vandals and I call the police, but I want to deal with you myself! And I will deal with you! He's gone. Who wants a model that looks like a spotty baby crossed with the Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty? His hair. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry you and him can have my room. Oh, thanks, sis. I'm not mad keen the idea of you having sex at all. But Lucy's well, I know you're doing it somewhere comfortable. Oh, absolutely. Only in her vagina. I meant in my bed. Um, so did I. Why would you say vagina, then? Hmm. I suppose I just always thought that we might... You know, we might... We have to go. I've got to go. I'm sorry. I'll see you soon, Tony. What? We might what? Say it! Come on! Mate love? Was it mate love? Oh, I'm going to have to go. I've got a missed call from Ralph Lauren. Didn't even ring, did it? I think I'm going to be a dad. Neil, you have to fuck a girl for that to happen. I know, I did it with this bird from Asda and now she's pregnant. What does it feel like? Is all right? All right. Anything else? No one's expecting D.H. Lawrence, Neil, but did you think anything other than this is all right? My legs ached. <laughs> Fucking hell, Benji. Then I pushed it in a bit, then out a bit, then in a bit, then my legs ate, then out again, then back in, and then it went off and now she's pregnant. OK, I think I get the picture, Sutherland. Cool. Look, isn't this exactly the sort of thing that Twitter or MySpace were invented for? No, sir. I was thinking about writing to the Daily Star's problem page, you know, the one with the photos, but it takes a week to find out the advice. OK, and this encounter, did it take place on the school premises or with a fellow pupil? No. Nah. Good. Well, what I think you should do is turn round, get out of my office, and we'll pretend this conversation never happened. All right, cheers for that. I had one bent over the table here. There was one up here I was fingering, and I was just toe-fucking the one on the floor. I'll tell my dad that Benji did a shit in the house. Did he? Well, no, but if I say he did, we'll have to keep him outside. And then I can wank freely without him judging me. Your dad? No, the dog. Right, sorted. Now you owe me 1,500 quid. Jay, my fucking car! I'm right! Oh, shit, yeah. The way I look at it, it's inevitable that the car's gonna go in the lake. I suppose it's nature. You can't fight nature. Exactly. It's going in anyway. My arms hurt. We might as well just let go. Do you think Simon will be annoyed? How can he be? It's logical. We can't stop it. We are stopping it a bit now. It's inevitable, Neil. Trust me. We'll let go after three, all right? Gotcha. One, two... Oh god! 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 Oh god!